So this is the question that we would like to answer. Does the improper integral, the integral from 1 to infinity, x over square root of x to the 5 plus 1 instead of the square root dx, does that converge or not? Here is the idea. I cannot really integrate this from scratch because I think that would be really hard or maybe it's not possible. But then we would like to use the comparison theorem for that. And remember the idea of the comparison theorem is that you have an improper integral that you want to make decision about if it converges or not. We have two situations. First, if we can show that an improper integral is less than or equal to a convergence that we know, then that means this right here has to converge as well. On the other hand, if we have an improper integral, if we show that this is bigger than or equal to a divergent, that will imply this improper integral diverges as well. But then I don't have anything I know about yet, so we have to come with something that we know better first, either a convergent or divergent, and then we'll set that in inequality accordingly. So let's pick up something that we know much better, and this is how we can simplify the improper integral. I'm going to look at the highest power of x on the top and the highest power of x on the bottom, and that's instead of the square root. And we do that is because we have x is approaching to infinity. And let's take a look. So I'm just going to write down the expression first. We have x over, and this is square root of x to the 5 power, all right? And let's take a look of this. This right here on the top is just x, but then on the bottom we can play around with the exponents. Uh, the square root is like 1 half power, so we have this is x to the 5 half power. And this is like x to the first power on the top over x to the 5 half power on the bottom. So we subtract the powers. 1 minus 5 over 2 is negative 3 over 2. That's going to be 1 over x to the 3 half, past the 3 half. So this right here, what I'm saying, this right here, this expression right here, it's about the same as 1 over x to the 3 half power when x goes to infinity. And now I still need to use an uh, improper integral though. So I want to come up with an improper integral. Going from 1 to infinity, I want to pick the same interval, of course, and then we have the dx. And now, by looking at this, does this improper integral converge or not? This is in the form of the p integral, 1 over x to the p power. So we can just say that because the p value for the power right here is 3 half, which is greater than 1, so that means this integral converges. And this right here, it's the piece of the information that we want to use. Okay, so once again, whenever you, if you can come up with a p integral, then you can just write down because p is whatever the p value right here is, either bigger than one or less than or equal to one. If it's bigger than one, in this case we have three half, so it converges. If it's less than or equal to one, it diverges. All right, so this is something that we know. Now we have to do the check, and you have to remember if you have an Converging integral that we want to use. We must go with the first situation. We must put down the improper integral that we have over there. Well, I'm going to check the improper integral from 1 to infinity x over square root of x to the 5 power plus 1 dx. I hope to show that this right here is less than or equal to a converging integral that we know. I want to show this is less than or equal to a converging integral, which is that one. I hope to show that this is true, because if it is, then I can draw a conclusion based on that and the comparison zero. So this is 1 over 3 half dx. And now let's just get to work. Um, the intervals are the same, right? So we can just look at the functions. x over square root of x to the 5 plus 1. I hope to show that this is less than or equal to 1 over x to the 3 half power. But then we only care about when x is bigger than or equal to 1 because it's going from 1 to infinity. So technically, all this right here, once again, will be positive. That's very nice. So they mean cool. Both of these are greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. And then I will cross multiply. And here I have x times x to the 3 half. Let me just write it down for you guys. x times x to the 3 half. And I maintain the same inequality because everything is positive, but I still don't know if this is true or not yet. It's not that clear at the moment. 
and this times that, which is square root of x to the 5 plus 1. And x times x to the 3 half, it's x to the 5 half, is this less than or equal to square root of x to the 5 plus 1? I still don't know yet what technically I do. Because the 1 half power, the half power right here, it's a square root. And we have x to the 5 and on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have square root of x to the 5 plus 1. Technically, we can stop right here because on the left hand side, you have square root of x to the 5. And right here on the right hand side, you don't just have square root of x to the 5, but you have the plus 4 inside. So, of course, the right hand side has to be even bigger, slightly bigger, but it's bigger. So, right here, you can just say this is clearly true. And therefore, you see that this inequality holds, right? So, I get to use the comparison theorem for this. So, the final step is I'm going to conclude. I'm going to conclude that this converges 1 to infinity x over square root of x to the 5 plus 1 dx. This improper integral converges by the comparison theorem, THM stands for theorem, with I'm comparing that with that one, with the converging integral we know, which is 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the 3 half power dx. And this right here, it's the three steps that I keep mentioning. Pick the something we know, do the check, and then draw a conclusion. And this is also the most important step. You need to know when to set up what inequalities. This is it.